Okay everybody, in this video I'm going to show you a recording session here where I'm going to mix these background vocals together and just kind of give you a general idea of how to mix background vocals, how to copy and paste them and that sort of thing. Um, in this song I've got my music track, tracks one and two panned, they're panned left and right. So it's basically like a karaoke track, but this is an original song, but it's I've gotten a mix down so I don't have to fool with mixing the instruments. It's already a good sounding track, so now we can just concentrate on vocals. Here it is right here. Okay, it's playing by itself here. Now, um, on this, this fellow is named Rodney. He sang lead on this song. I can hit solo to see what's on this track. Why do you keep on calling? Okay, there's Rodney's vocal. Now. This is a country song, Just obviously. Get on with uh, I know a lot of you into a lot of different types of music, she but that's what this is. This is transferred from an old ADAT recording machine. So um, I'm going to pull that back in. Now, what that does is if there's any noise at the end of this track, it gets rid of it which I'm probably going to do on the front also of all these tracks just to get rid of any noise you can highlight all these tracks this right here fits all the tracks in the window this is just like an up down arrow thing so now you can see all the tracks if you had 16 tracks it would cut them in half and you'd see all 16 tracks so to highlight all the tracks all I have to do is take my mouse push the left mouse button down and do just touch all of them and that highlights all of them. Now right now I'm hitting the plus key down here at the bottom right and that's going to stretch everything out so I can see it, zoom it. Now this I'm going to pull up to the front like this which cuts off any noise at the front of it. Now some of these still have some room here so I'm going to I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to pull that up here just to get rid of any noise that might be up there. These are just some little things that I do as soon as I start the session. You know, just to I can just look at this and see, okay, I need to clean that up, need to clean this up. Here is a this button fits all windows to the project. Um, so I hit that and it kind of it kind of uh, zooms in on everything. I can also hit this and it this minus button and that'll zoom in also. Okay, first of all, we Why have you keep on the lead vocal. Here's a few little treatments in sonar. If you have a full-blown version of sonar that you can do to, to treat this. For one thing, this vintage channel, if you'll look in audio effects, it's called vintage channel. I've got it in shared plugins. Yours could be anywhere, but that's where it is in here. Um, and let's see, there's a setting on here that sounds pretty good. Breathing vocal, maybe that was it. Um, it also has just a touch too much high end for my taste on this, but it's a, a compressor and it's got built in EQ or tone controls. Why do you keep on calling her? But it takes uh, without it. Why do you keep on kind of dull? Calling her, she's been through enough. Add that Guess and it kind of brings it up closer with, with the compressor. Life. I'm gonna she hangs up half crazy. this right here that you see is just an overall like if you have all your settings set uh, and you have your volume up you can pull this fader up and down it's kind of like a master volume that doesn't affect your volume envelopes or affect anything else it just overall pulls the volume up or down speaking of volume envelopes if you'll right click on this track in this area right here envelopes create track envelope volume. Now there's your volume envelope. If you pull it down, your volume goes up and down. As you, If you'll watch this over here to the left, you'll see your volume changing as you go up, down, and back up. That's like completely as loud as it'll go. Now if you get as loud as it'll go and it isn't enough, you can take this trim down here and go up and down. That'll make it louder and softer, but you got to be careful because you may distort the track. And here's your little VU meter. If it gets into the red and stays there, you're probably distorting the whole thing. Okay, so so now here's Rodney Why singing. Do you keep on calling As you see, we're too much in the through. red, so I'm going to back it off because I've got this volume level but if you want to make if there's places where the volume needs to go up and down all you have to do is double click and 
probably double click again. Then you can pull the volume envelope up and down depending on where you want the volume to be. That way it'll if your voice is a little too low in a spot, it'll pull it up and and down. But right now we're just going to leave that as it is. And I hit control Z a couple of times to get rid of that stuff that I did. That's undo, undo, undo. You also can do undo right up here. Okay everybody, that's the end of part one of the basics of editing vocals in Cakewalk Sonar. You can use a lot of these techniques in other programs, uh, but this was specifically for Cakewalk Sonar. For more videos like this, go to dannyjonline.com. And if you need any Samson Pro Audio gear, please go to buyprosound.net and I'm sure we can help you out there. So stay tuned for part two of the basics of editing vocals in Cakewalk Sonar. See you next video.